Hi, today in this video I will demonstrate how to change out the main graphic in this template here. This, this is stylish 001 and this question comes up quite often um, how to change this header graphic right here. But actually this is not a header graphic, this is um, in the info bar. If we went to the header graphic we can see that we're using header GIF and if I remove that, we can see it was just the top part up here. So let me put that back. This here is actually the info bar. If I remove the info bar, I can see that it goes away. So I know it's in the info bar somewhere. And your first thought is, well, it's the info bar GIF. Well, if I remove the info bar GIF, I see that's just the, the background part. So I'll put that back. So my next step, after it's not in the header, it's not the it's not the background image for the info bar. I'll go to the designer in the info bar. I can see the images right here. So it's actually in a table. You might be able to see the table outline right here. Right there, it's in a, it's in a table in a cell. So to replace this and keep everything the same we want to either modify this image or use a new image that is exactly the same dimensions. So if I go to image properties I can see here that it's called header graphic JPG. So if I click here to go to the clip art gallery it's right here header graphic and it is 700 by 20, 700 pixels by 225 pixels tall. So write that down because you need to know that. And the name is header underscore graphic JPG. So you, you can rename it, but then you'll have to go into the table here and delete this image and insert another image. If you want to make it easier on yourself, you can just create a new image with the same same dimensions, same file name and just overwrite this image in Excite Pro. So let's go to the other tab, Resource Manager, Header Graphic JPG, and we'll right click and copy locally. What I'm going to do now is open up Photoshop. We have our image here. Let's just say I wanted to have the, the girl's face on the left side. So I'll go to Edit Let's go to edit and transform and rotate horizontally. So now I have the image over here and I'll save that to my desktop and add it into Excite Pro. So now I'll go back to the resource manager on the other tab. Resource manager. I'll click add and here's the, the new image with the uh, face on the left. Double click. Say add and yes I want to overwrite. So now we can close that, look at her page layout, and now she's on the left. Sometimes it, uh, you, it may not, uh, since the file is the same size and it's the same name, sometimes you might have to do control F5 to refresh Excite Pro to uh, see the new image here. But I didn't do it that time, it just uh, took automatically so there you go. So now if, if you had a different image in here that said something you know totally different, it would just automatically show up right there. Thanks for watching.